Hello everyone myself Dr Parth Goswami and today I am going to teach you one important topic from kidney that is rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis it is also known by the name crescentic glomerulonephritis because the crescent formation is present in this particular variety it is a severe form of glomerulonephritis in our previous lecture we have discussed that glomerular inflammation could be in the form of nephritic syndrome or there could be nephrotic syndrome right so this particular rpg and rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis is an example of nephritic syndrome so if you have not seen my previous lectures right previous 3 to 4 lectures regarding the glomerular disease then first visit the playlist or you can find the link in the description and see that video first to understand this particular topic in the detail so the rpgn is morphologically severe form of glomerulo nephritis there is a severe glomerular injury in this particular disease and friends it doesn't indicate specific etiology right it is a group of certain diseases right it uh, the rpgn develop in a certain etiologies so simply it's a severe form of glomerular injury it is not a specific etiological condition right so it's a severe nephritic syndrome and uh, we know very well that in nephritic syndrome patient can have oliguria right so the patient can die if not treated from the renal failure patient can die so it should be treated immediately so here are the categories or the etiology of rpgn basically there are three main categories or the classification of rpgn there are three main etiology the one is one is anti gbm antibody induced rpgn then immune complex mediated rpgn and posi immune rpgn so we can divide the rpgn into three category type 1 type 1 anti gbm antibody type 2 immune complex and type 3 posi immune so the first category is type 1 anti gbm antibody in this particular variety there is a formation of antibody against the glomerular basement membrane of glomerulus right anti gbm antibody is present and so this is antibody antibody induced uh, you know glomerulonephritis and the classical example is good pasture syndrome right so type 1 category include anti gbm antibody induced rpgn type 2 category include immune complex mediated rpgn we know very well that in certain condition immune complex develop right in immune complex means antigen and antibody complex this particular complex can deposited in the glomerulus and it can activate the complement system and leukocyte to induce the glomerular injury so immune complex here can be formed because of post infectious glomerulonephritis particularly post streptococcal right or because of lupus nephritis that is seen in systemic lupus erythematosus or it could be because of hanoskelin purpura hsp or it could be because of iga nephropathy so in this four particular condition the immune complex can form and it can lead to rpgn severe form of glomerular injury the type 3 is a posi immune rpgn here the name posi immune is given because there is no immunoglobulin or complement deposition and it is anca associated means it is associated with vasculitis particularly it is seen in granulomatosis with polyangiitis or microscopic polyangiitis these are the examples of small vessel vasculitis right so in this condition also uh, there could be rpgn so these are the basically three category type 1 2 and 3 all right now gross morphology of rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis how grossly kidney will look so obviously it is a severe form of glomerulonephritis so the patient will have inflammation and because of inflammation there will be more exudation of fluid and there will be more redness right so the kidney is enlarged in size cortex is pell but if you cut the kidney there is a congested medulla because of inflammation right it is a severe form of inflammation of the glomerulus that's why so congested medulla can be seen and the outer surface is smooth so this is the gross morphological appearance of rpgn all right now if we see the morphology in the detail then in the microscopy particularly light microscopy there will be crescent formation 
right now what do we mean by key crescent this is also known by the name crescentic glomerulonephritis so in our previous lecture we have discussed that in the rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis there is a rapid proliferation of parietal epithelial cell right it will line the bowman space and as it is a acute inflammation there is a presence of leukocyte so there is abundant leukocyte and we know that in severe glomerulonephritis endothelial injured so the plas plasma and the fibrin will leak from the blood into the glomerulus so we have the three main component proliferated parietal epithelial cell right parietal epithelial cell plus leukocyte that is because of acute inflammation and leak fibrin from the blood because of endothelial glomerular injury so these three component will form a crescent formation and it indicate a very poor prognosis now second change change is seen in the tubules of the kidney why because in the nephritic syndrome there is a presence of hematuria there is a presence of red blood cell in the urine right so this red blood cell along with precipitated protein can form a cast right cast means cylindrical structure that is formed in the convoluted tubule right it is a precipitated protein but if rbc is present within it then it is known by the name rbc cast and here the rbc excreted in the urine right hematuria is present that's why there will be formation of rbc cast in the rpgn highline droplet also can be sometimes seen and if this acute infl inflammation is not treated then it can convert it into chronic inflammation and fibrosis right so chronic inflammation and fibrosis can be seen in interstitium all right now electron microscopic appearance of rpgn so in the electron microscopically obviously crescent will be seen and uh, and if it is a type 1 rpgn then the deposit will be in the g uh, then the deposit is not seen right but uh, if it is immune complex induced rpgn then in electron microscopy you will see a sub epithelial lumpy bumpy deposit of immunoglobulin and complement right sub epithelial deposit is seen in our previous lecture we have seen that in the immune complex mediated glomerulonephritis the deposit is sub epithelial and particularly it is a lumpy bumpy granular type right it is a granular lumpy bumpy so it is seen sub epithelial region now immunofluorescence microscopic appearance of rpgn so obviously if it is a type 1 then if it is due to anti gbm right if it is due to anti gbm type 1 then in our previous lecture we have discussed that in the anti gbm the deposit is linear so here the immunoglobulin and complement deposited as a linear deposit but if it is type 2 that is immune complex induced rpgn then the deposit is granular immunoglobulin and complement granular deposit is seen and type 3 which is known by the name posi immune means here there is a no immunoglobulin or complement deposition it is not antibody mediated rpgn right in this two category only deposits are seen in the type 3 variety deposit is not present so this is the light microscopy showing a crescent this is the crescent follow this laser light this is the crescent formation if you see the schematic diagram then you can see that here there is a infiltration of neutrophil this uh, uh, you know this uh, a uh, 3 to 5 lobe containing cells are neutrophil so there is abundant neutrophilic infiltration there is a leak fibrin right the fibrin can also be seen and you can see a proliferated parietal epithelial cell these are the parietal epithelial cell these all are the parietal epithelial cell right they are proliferated so the pro so the proliferated parietal epithelial cell hypercellular glomerulus particularly neutrophil and the fibrin will form a crescent again this is the same diagram showing a uh, crescentic glomerulonephritis this is the crescent you can see that this is the parietal epithelial cell that line the bowman space right this yellow color is a bowman space right this is the glomerulus see this is the inner one is endothelial cells in the glomerulus this uh, pink lining right this pink lining is a gbm 
outer to which there is a lining of visceral epithelial cell these are the visceral epithelial cell and outside opposite side of the visceral epithelial cell lining the Bowman space there is a presence of parietal epithelial cell so these parietal epithelial cells are proliferated in this particular variety and leak fibrin can also be seen in between and because of hypercellular glomerulus there is a proliferation of neutrophils and other cells hyperplasia so this is the crescent understand and uh, you know there will be hypercellularity as well in the RPG and so mesangial endothelial and parietal both uh, bo um, all the cells will be proliferated understand these are the messenger cell these are the endothelial cell these are the parietal epithelial cell right they all will be proliferated because it is a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis it's, it's a severe form of proliferated glomerulonephritis all right which are the clinical features so the clinical features are according to the type of rpg in right and particularly there will be all clinical manifestation of nephritic syndrome in our previous lecture we have seen that in the nephritic syndrome there is a presence of hypertension hematuria right uh, oliguria there is a less urine output less than 600 ml in 24 hour there is a edema right so all this will be seen in nephritic syndrome so in the rpgn the same clinical manifestation is present but if it is type 1 rpgn that is anti gbm we know that we know very well that anti gbm antibody whenever anti gbm antibody is formed that condition is known by the name good pasture syndrome and in the good pasture syndrome uh, the lung alveoli is also involved right because that basement membrane also contain type 4 collagen here the antibodies form again the type 4 collagen of gbm and type 4 collagen of lung alveoli basement membrane so the patient will have additionally hemoptysis means blood in the sputum as well so this is all about the rpgn hope uh, you can easily understand this particular topic now if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section again i am telling don't forget the RPGN is not a specific etiological condition. It is a group of manifestation. It is a severe form of glomerular injury that can be seen because of all this region. Type 1 means anti-GBM antibody induced good pasture syndrome. Type 2 causes include this one, right? It is an immune complex mediated post-infectious lupus, HSP, IgA nephropathy, etc. And type 3 is a post-immune that is seen in vasculitis, right? Here the immunoglobin deposit is not present. And don't forget that there is a formation of crescent in the rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, right? RPGN. The crescent formation is a characteristic feature of RPGN in which you can see in which you can see a severe neutrophilic infiltrate, hypercellular glomerulus, leak fibrin, and you can see a proliferated parietal epithelial cell. So this is all about the RPGN. See you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.